having well prepared your portal with the right object organization, the right properties, etc., that's great. But if we spend three minutes each time looking for the information we need, our productivity will be badly impacted. After organizing our information to be stored on our spot CRM, we only have to display it in the right place. In this video, we'll focus on customizing two types of view, the object listing and the detailed page of a specific object. So what I call object listing is the main pages of contacts, companies or deals as we can see in this screen. It's generally a table listing all the records of a specific object that will display certain properties in column. And there are two ways to customize them. First, by mod modifying the column, so the properties that are displayed, or by modifying the rows, that are the records that are displaying on our main page. So first, if we want to modify the rows, it means to choose which lead will display on this page, we need to play with advanced filters. So let's say I want to only display my UK leads. So we choose country two and say any of United Kingdom. And among my English leads, I only want to show my clients. So I can click on end, choose lifecycle stage and is any of customer. So now I have a view with all my English clients. If it's just to change the number, we can just play with the other filters, that's fine. We know there are three records. But if you want to access to this information in a regular basis, we can create what we call views. So you just need to click on add view, click on create new view, give it a name. So you can call them UK clients and choose if everyone can access it or it will be private. So only me can have access to this view. So we click on confirm and now every time you will click on UK clients, you will see the free records showing. Another way to customize this page is to play with the columns. So the property that a spot will display on this page. We can see that there is some columns, but it's not all the information we know about our contacts. So we can first modify the order of the columns that are displayed here. So let's say I want to know if they are marketing contacts First, I can just drag and drop and put it at the beginning, for instance. But I can also pick on every property that exists on my CRM to make them appear on this column. So to do so, we just need to click on edit columns and I will see all the different properties that we can put on this tab. So let's say, for instance, I don't really care about the create date, so I can like take it off. I want to know the market of my leads in the first place so i can drag it and drop it at the beginning and let's say i want to know the last contacted date so i can just like type it find it click on it and it will be automatically added at the end so i can just like move it at the top because it's the information i really want to see in the first place once you define all the property you want to display and you put them in a the good order, you can click on save. And now you have like a really personalized contact view. Of course, you can do it for every different object listing page. So the contact page, the deal page and the company page, for instance. So that's already a good start. But the most important thing for your salespeople is to be able to customize a second type of view, namely the dedicated object pages. Just a quick break to inform you that this video is part of a free training focusing on how to set up your Hotspot portal in the most efficient way possible. This free training will be divided into seven big modules, each addressing a specific key point of your Hotspot portal. And each module consists into several videos that will go deeper into a specific functionality or feature of your Hotspot portal. If it's not already the case when you watch this video, the videos in this series will be published gradually and they will be added to this specific playlist. I have also prepared a private web page bringing together all the different content of this free training and some additional bonus content. So to benefit of this free content and to be notified for every new chapter that is releasing, I invite you to click on the link in the description below. So what do I call a dedicated page is basically the page that gathers all the information of a specific record, so in this example, contact. So when you click on it, you arrive on this dedicated page and you can see that this page is divided into three areas. 
we have the information area here with some information about our lead, the activity area with all the activity that the lead did in our portal and the association area on the right corner. However, the default information is not necessarily the one that your salespeople will daily consult and use. So it's really important to modify this view to maximize the productivity and clarity of your portal. So to do this, you have to ask yourself two questions. First, what are the information that a salesperson should have at a glance at a lead? And the second one is what are the properties that the salesperson is going to change during his sales process? In our case, for instance, we might want to display the country of the lead, its market, and its lead status because uh, it's what the salespeople will change at the end of every call. So once you answer all these questions, you just have to click on settings, go to data management and contact, and then click on record customization. And now, as you can see, you can modify every single area we presented before. Depending on your hotspot subscription, you will be able to create a specific view for a specific type of user of your portal, but basically every subscription will be able to at least modify the default view. So let's say we want to modify the information area. We click on customize the left sidebar, default view, and it will open a menu where we can really personalize our left sidebar. What we can see, we see that we have like one section named about this contact. So it could be like general information about like, let's say email, phone number, street address, country and market. So because we want this area to only be for information about this contact, we can take off all the other property we don't need. So we don't need the contact order, we don't need last contacted, we don't need life cycle stage, we don't need like lead status, we don't need that. And now we have like basically all the personal information about our lead. And then we can add a lot of different sections that will store a different kind of property. So now let's say we want to create a sales section. And on this section, we want to put the life cycle stage, the lead status, the number of associated deals, when he has been last contacted, etc., etc. So basically you can really personalize everything you want about the lead. And once you're uh, happy with your results, you can click on save. And now when we come back to our contact, we can see that all the different section we created are displaying for every of our spot users. So just repeat this process for the free area of contact. But be careful if you are using several objects, so contacts and company or deals, you will need to modify those layouts for each single object. So for instance, if you want to modify this left sidebar for companies, you just go to data management, objects, companies, you will find the record customization tab and you repeat your process with the company information you want to display. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up, to subscribe to this channel and to save this playlist to make sure you don't miss any new chapter of this free training. And don't forget the link in the description below that gives you this free access to all the content of this free training plus more additional content on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. For those who are discovering me through this video, I'm Grégoire, a spot expert for more than seven years now, and I will see you very soon for more Uspot tips.